one as many of you know was the first sub-Saharan Africa nation to gain her freedom and independence from colonial rules some 61 years ago. Despite the distortions and exploitation of colonialism, we've had since then the capacity to build the Ghana of our dreams. And if truth be told, we have not done as well as we should have to achieve this goal. We are now determined to do much better. It is evident that if we simply ground and sow the cocoa in paste form, instead of selling the cocoa beans, we double our earnings and we'll be a greater part of this lucrative industry. In much the same way, we would double our earnings from gold if we sold it refined and not in its raw state. The roads and railways that were built during the colonial period were done to facilitate the export of these primary commodities and open up our country to a limited extent. It is obvious, therefore, that unless we change fundamentally the structure of our economy, we shall not make any progress in bringing prosperity to our people. We need to make systematic efforts to change the structure of our economy. We must add value to our natural resources. In other words, we must industrialize if we want to build a, progress, a progressive and prosperous Ghana and enhance the living standards of the Ghanaian people. But whether it is on a small scale or a large scale, industrialization will be successful when the necessary infrastructure is available to make production processes and products competitive. We are also very desirous of developing strategic industries out of our abundant natural resources of bauxite and iron ore. We have established by statute two months ago a public co commercial corporation, the Ghana Integrated Bauxite Aluminum Development Corporation, to assemble the necessary financial resources for the full exploitation and development of the entire value chain in Ghana of our large bauxite deposits. We intend to create the space for the private sector to grow the jobs that our young people need and to position our nation to take full advantage of the immense opportunities of the projected African continental free trade area, whose agreement Ghana was the first to ratify. I'm working towards building a Ghana where our people have jobs and decent livelihoods. Ghana is endowed with great potential where security and the rule of law are upheld and where investments are secure. We want to contribute to the global marketplace at the higher level of the value chain for Ghanaian products. We want to bring greater dignity to the lives of millions of people in Ghana. We want to build a Ghana beyond aid, which has discarded a mindset of dependence, aid, charity and handouts. And we mean business.